Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here. This is Module 18.1, Sequences of Transformations. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com if you haven't figured that out already. And then make sure you click the Integrated Math 1 link. So here's our question. So what happens when we apply more than one transformation to a figure? Okay, we'll start with a simple one right here. We're going to draw the image of triangle ABC after the given combination of transformations. Okay, so we're going to first take this uh, triangle and reflect it over the line L. And then we'll take that um, uh, image and then we'll translate it uh, along this vector V right there. Okay, so here we go. We're going to draw the image of ABC after reflecting it over the line L. So this, if you can just figure, you know, tilt your head sideways to the right and then look at that line. And then this blue guy is going to flip right up here. And I think I made it red right there. It gets reflected right over that right there. Okay, so B prime is the reflection of B and C is the reflection here. C prime is the reflection. A is just uh, A prime because it's right on the line right there, but these are reflected right over that line. This is our mirror right here. It's a mirror image. Okay, and then we're going to take um, uh, this uh, red um, uh, triangle right here and we're going to translate it along the vector. Okay, this vector goes up one to the right four. So we're just going to take that whole triangle and um, and move the vertices up one to the right four so there we go up one to the right four every point went up one to the right four so there's b prime right there c prime went up one to the right four right there okay all right so and then uh a prime is up one to the right four right there okay Let's try that with this one right here. Okay, so we're going to go uh, 180 degree rotation around the point P and then translate it along uh, our vector V and then reflect it on top of that over the line L. Okay, so 180 degree rotation came from uh, module 17.3. Let's review that real quick. So here's all our reviews of uh, our rotations right here. So 180 degree rotation, we just take the XY coordinate and then just do the opposite of X and the opposite of Y. So what we're going to do is take, um, instead of going to the left uh, one, we're going to go to the right one. So in, to get B, instead of going to the left one down three, we're going to go to the right one up three. And for A, instead of going to the right one down two, we're going to go to the left one up two. And that's going to give us our A prime, B prime, C prime right there. Okay, so now we've done that. Now we're going to translate it along the vector V. Okay, this vector goes up one to the right five. So we're going to move it up one to the right five. Okay, so now I take this red guy and just move the whole thing up one to the right five. It's going to move all the vertices over there. Okay, and then now we're going to reflect this guy across the line L. Okay, so C double prime is going to go, uh, it's going to go right down here. And it's going to, uh, well, wait, let's, let's do our third step here. So apply the reflection. So it's going to go right below that right there. This guy's going to go right down there. And then B double, triple prime is going to be the reflection of B double prime. Okay. All right. Hope that made sense, you guys. So, so these are called rigid transformations where they, uh, they change locations and orientations uh, sometimes, you guys. But they don't change the size or the shape. So if they did, they're called non-rigid transformations, which is we dilate them. So it's like taking a magnifying glass and making them bigger or making them smaller. They shrink or increase right here. Okay, so here what we're going to do is take this image right here, this trapezoid right here, and we're going to first dilate it by multiplying all of these vertices by three halves, which is one and a half. So we'll multiply uh, this is 0.22. We multiply the coordinates, all the coordinates, all the x coordinates times 3 halves, and all the y coordinates times 3 halves. Okay? All right, so I put uh, the ordered pairs in there so we can uh, take those and they're nice even numbers so they, they'll plot nicely because when you take a half of a number and then multiply it by 3, That'll give us three halves right there. So the first uh, transformation is dilating uh, by a factor of three halves. So multiply everything by three halves. So I see two, two, four, two, six, four, and two, four. So I'm going to multiply two, four, and six by three halves. 
So there's two times three halves. It's three three. It's going to be three. So this point's going to be three comma three. This is going to be a three right there, and then this is going to be a three. So uh, two times three halves is three. Okay, what's uh, three halves times four? Okay, so uh, this two goes into four twice. Three times two is six. So all of these coordinate fours are going to be sixes. That's going to be a six, and that's going to be a six. Finally, 3 halves times 6, 2 goes into 6 3 times, 3 times 3 is 9, so this 6 coordinate is going to be 9, okay? So we're going to dilate them by 3 halves, so there it is right there. So the 2, 2 became 3, 3, the 4, 2 became 6, 3, and uh, the 6, 4 became 9, 6, and then similarly this becomes uh, 3, 6. Okay, so now we've done that. Now what we're going to do is um, uh, change the signs of the x's. So of these red guys, instead of going to the right 3, we're going to go to the left 3 up 3. So the y stay the same. So that's just, it's a reflection over the y axis. That's what this is right here. So now we're going to apply the reflection across the y axis. That's what this is. This is our reflection across the y axis. So this red guy gets reflected over there. Okay, and then now we're going to, uh, so that's, the, we're at this stage right now. Now we're going to take all the x coordinates and, and uh, add 1 to them, and the y's means subtract 2. Well, this, is, this is to the right 1, down 2. So we're going to take that purple guy, and, uh, and we're going to mean uh, this um, uh, plus 1 minus 2 just means to the right 1, down 2. So I'm going to take this whole figure and go to the right 1, down 2, all those points, and that's going to take me to that guy right there, okay? Okay, so let's see, what else do we have? So, um, and if your teacher asks you, what are the coordinates? There they are right there, okay? All right, let's try this one right here. We're going to dilate um, uh, this guy uh, by moving uh, only the x's times 3, so that's a horizontal movement, and then after we do that, then we're going to do um, a dilation by a half. Okay, let's do it one at a time right here. So the first transformation is a horizontal stretch by a factor of 3, so I'm going to take all the x coordinates and multiply them by 3, okay? So this is going to be times 3, which is going to be negative 12. This is going to be negative 6, and 0 times 3 is 0. So when I multiply them all by 3, it, the b stay the same. I'm sorry, the, the y stay the same. So, so this, is, this is still negative 4, but it's negative 12, negative 4. This is, um, we multiplied this by 3, so it became negative 6, negative 4. And so there it is. Um, uh, stretched by a factor of 3. Okay, now what we're going to do is... Um, is take that uh, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime and dilate it by a factor of one half because these are both one halves right here. And then this uh, negative one half just means we're going to change all the signs. So we're going to take half of all of these numbers and change the signs of the Y coordinates right there. So that's just going to flip it up here. Okay, so when we do that, uh, taking half and changing the signs of the y values, we get all of those guys. So it shrinks it back up to the purple guy right there, if you guys uh, can see that that's purple. And that's our ordered pairs right there, okay? All right, it's kind of fun, huh? I think so anyways. All right, so if you dilate a figure by a factor of two and then translate it right to units, write a sequence of transformations that returns it back to the pre-image. So to undo this uh, dilation by a factor of two, we dilate it back by a factor of one half. And then uh, if we wanted to go uh, uh, to the right two units and to go backwards, we go to the left two units. All right, so a student asks to, uh, ask to reflect a figure across the y-axis and then vertical stretch the figure by a factor of two. Describe the effects on the coordinates and then write uh, one transformation using the coordinate notation that combines these uh, two transformations into one. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do, you guys, is um, the x-coordinate changes by the opposites because it's going across the y-axis, the x-coordinates change. And the y-coordinates, to do the dilations, is being multiplied by a factor of two, so our xy-coordinate becomes negative x and then uh, 2y. That'll do our dilation by the y-coordinates right there. All right, so here they're going to ask us to predict the results by applying the sequence of transformations to the given figure. So try to be as accurate as you can. Okay, this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, this is quadrant four. Do you remember that? Okay, so 
So we're going to take this triangle right here, and it's translated by the vector negative 2, 3, and then reflected across the y-axis, and then reflected across the x-axis. Okay, so when we translate it by uh, the vector negative 2, 3, all that's going to do is move it to the left 2, up 3. So imagine this going to the left 2, up 3. It's just going to take us more into quadrant 2, further away from this origin right here. All right, so now we're going to reflect it over the x-axis. Well, if it's in quadrant 2 and we reflect it over here, it's going to take us to quadrant 1 right there, okay? All right, and then uh, now we're going to reflect it across the x-axis. Well, if it's up here and we reflect it down here, it's going to take us down into quadrant 4 right there. So by reflecting it over the x-axis, it puts us in quadrant four. And you might want to be, you know, a little more sophisticated, and it gives us a, a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. And then because of this vector, it pulled it, it pulled it further away from the origin right there. So if you wanted to get a little more specific, okay? Let's do that again with this one, then we'll stop. Okay, so square HIJK is rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, and then dilated by a factor of two. Okay, dilating by a factor of two is just gonna make this larger. It's just gonna multiply all these uh, ordered pairs by two. Okay, so it, it's going to map our xy uh, coordinate to 2x comma 2y. Okay, all right, so here we go. So uh, our rotation, I forgot which rotation was, uh, rotating clockwise. Okay, rotating clockwise is going to be 90 degrees clockwise is we're going to take our xy's, we're going to flip them and then negate the x, okay? So so um, uh, I think I put ordered pairs on these right there. So yeah, so um, we're going to flip these two guys and then, and then change the sign of the first one, which goes in the second spot right there, okay? So then i, which is 3, 4, becomes 4, negative. 3, 3, 2 becomes 2, negative 3, and 1, 2 becomes 2, negative 1. Okay, so here it is rotated right here. So the rotate, um, uh, it rotates it into quadrant 4, the rotation of 90 degrees clockwise. And it, it kind of looks like it's a, um, a translation. It went over 1, down, what, 3 right there? But it didn't. It got rotated. Can you see your I, your H is right here to H prime, and the I is uh, uh, rotated to I prime. So if we, I don't know if you you can see it being rotated in this direction, 90 degrees clockwise, all the letters get rotated. So it puts us in quadrant four right there, and then now we're going to dilate it by a factor of two, and when we dilate it by a factor of two, it's just going to keep it in quadrant four, moving it further away from the origin, because we multiply all the ordered pairs times two, so instead of this being uh, 2, negative 1, it's going to be 4, negative 2, so it's going to be down over here, so this would be k double prime right there. Okay, and it's just going to be a square that's twice as big. All right, you guys, if you're in my class, I'm going to assign you that. Take care.